Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to program the Proflux controller for non-dimmable lighting control. Along the way we'll also show you how to set up and use the temperature dependent light reduction feature. All of this will be done using the GHL Connect app. For this setup you will need your lighting fixture and one or more available sockets on your power bar. To get started, Connect to your Proflux using the GHL Connect app. Once connected, press the menu icon at the top left, select Illumination, then select Illumination Channels. Here is where you get to create your lighting schedule. Go ahead and select an unused illumination channel. Since we're setting up a non-dimmable lighting unit, disable the dimmable feature and select Yes to clear the default schedule. Press Add, then specify the time at which the light should turn on. Press Done when you've selected the time. Now specify the time at which the light should turn off, then press Done. Press Add and your on-off schedule will be added. If you need to add another schedule, simply press the Add button again and enter the on-off times. If you'd like to adjust or delete an existing schedule, press the blue gear icon. Next, select if you'd like to use the temperature dependent light reduction feature. This feature is used as a failsafe in case the tank temperature gets too hot during your lighting schedule. By enabling this feature, you allow the Proflux to turn off your lights earlier than normal. This prevents excess heat from being added to the tank. Next up, you have the description field. Here is where you type in a description for this illumination channel. If you wish to assign a specific color to this channel, you can do so here. Press save and your light schedule will be created. Pressing the back arrow will take you back to the illumination channels list. If you need to set up separate lighting schedules, Simply select another illumination channel and repeat the same steps. If you chose to use the temperature dependent light reduction feature, you'll find the settings for that here. Here is where you get to specify exactly when the selected channels should turn off. Start by selecting the temperature probe you want to use for this feature. Next, specify at what point you would like to turn off your lights. For example, if your desired temperature was set to 77 degrees Fahrenheit and you want to turn off your lights when the temperature reaches 81 degrees, the shutoff limit should be set to 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the settings have been entered, press save. Now that you've created your lighting schedule, it's time to assign that schedule to a specific socket on your power bar. At this time you can go ahead and connect your lights to any available power bar socket. Be sure to take note which socket number you have it connected to. Press the menu icon, then press the back arrow, and select switch channels. Select the socket that has the light connected to it. Type in a description for this socket. Set the function to illumination, then select the illumination channel number you used when you created the light schedule. Since we created our schedule on illumination channel number 1, we would select 1. If we had made the schedule on illumination channel number 2, we would select 2. Once that's done, press save. Your light is now officially controlled by your Proflux controller. If you created different lighting schedules on different illumination channels, simply go back to the switch channels page and select the other socket that has the other light connected to it and follow the same steps. Just make sure you assign the correct illumination channel to the desired socket. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about this video or any GHL product, feel free to contact us on any one of our support channels. Links and contact info can be found in the description box below. Until next time folks, take care.